Hey, Justin, um, just uh, looking at the um, the chance of you setting the Vikings um, all-time um, single season receiving record. Just, I'm just wondering if you, if that feels like could come with an asterisk with the 17th game or, um, you know, what, what you think of the, the sort of extra chance to, um, you know, finish with a bigger number? Yeah, uh, well, first of all, it's not fair to the guys that only had 16 games. Uh, so, you know, uh, it, it's, I got a little extra chance to get it. Uh, but, I mean, it, it's definitely, you know, an honor to be in this position. Um, you know, just competing to, to have the most yards in a single season. Um, I mean, I, can, I couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just being surrounded by all of these guys on the team, um, you know, being with Kirk, um, you know, it, it's just been a blessing to, to be in this position. Justin, we've been talking to the other guys about almost every single game, right? You guys are like, have had to win, backs against the wall, had meaning to it, pressure. And, and now you got to shift your focus in a different way on Sunday. So how do you do it for yourself? And what do you say to the other guys to make sure that you're just as up for a game? Because, you know, you never want to say meaningless. Uh, it means something. So what, what do you say to yourself and the other guys? I mean, I, I mean, I tell myself this every game uh, to keep performing at my highest, you know. I don't want to ever put out bad film. Uh, I don't want to ever, you know, go on the field and not put my 100% out there. Uh, I know my teammates are going to be putting their 100% out, and I don't want to be short, uh, short in them. So uh, I'm definitely going to go out there ready to play uh, with that mindset, just like any other game. Uh, I mean, we, we definitely have, we don't really have much to lose at this point, but uh, it'll definitely be good getting that win and finish the season off strong. Followed by Chris. Hey, Justin. Um, knowing that this is probably maybe one of the last times that we're going to get a chance to talk to you until the off season, you know, we're asking a lot of questions about reflecting back on the year. And as you look back at where this team is now and where maybe you thought they would be um, going into the season, do you feel like there's moments where you can say, yeah, we did underachieve this year based on your expectations? Very. Um, I mean, according to the games that we lost, we sh we should be in the playoffs right now. You know, we should have one of the best records in the league. So, I mean, it's we only shot ourselves in the foot. We only hurt ourselves. Uh, not finishing the game, not coming out with energy. Uh, I mean, just little things to to you know not put us up on that on that scoreboard. And uh, that's that's the tough thing about it. And uh, I mean, we're one two games away from being in the playoffs and you know competing. So. Uh, it's, it, we're the only ones to blame. You know, we can't blame anybody else. Uh, but I mean, that's just that just goes to show you that the talent that we have on this team. Um, you know, we just all got to come together, execute as one team, and play as one team. Hey, Justin, you've touched at times about being frustrated with the losing and what have you. How crazy is it that in two years now with the Vikings? You guys have never been over 500 at any point in the last two years. How frustrating has that been for you personally, you know, coming from such winning success at LSU? Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely tough, uh, you know, not being in the playoffs, not winning uh, more than we lost. So, uh, I mean, there's, there's so many things that, that could happen that could change uh, for us to either be in the playoffs or have a winning season. So. Uh, I mean, we just got to find a way to, to change it around. You know, everybody got to be on the, the same same page. We all got to have that same goal is to reach that Super Bowl and win it. So uh, until then, uh, you know, we just got to we just got to find that spark, find that way to that find that win win. And you use that frustration to kind of, you know, drive you during the off season, you know, knowing how tough it's been to be out of the playoffs and all that? Can that help motivate you and drive you during the offseason? It should motivate everybody. Uh, it should mo motivate everybody to, to get better, to be better, uh, and, and to come back next year, you know, with a different mindset. Because, I mean, if you travel throughout our season, if you watch all of our games, 
we should not have the record that we should have. You know, we, we've been in so many close games. We lost at the last second so many single times. So uh, it, it's definitely frustrating, but, you know, definitely got to use that to uh, better yourself in this offseason. Right, then Andrew. Hey Justin, uh, Patrick mentioned he thought the, <clears throat> excuse me, the defense was about to like break through at Carolina and, and going forward, and then he got hurt, and then Neil got hurt, and I was just curious if you thought the offense was was finally going to click through and be able to get exactly what it needed on a consistent basis. You talking about like on the defensive side? No, no, for if it, like so that's when he thought the defense was going to come together. Oh, he's saying when, like, when did I think the offense was going to get together? Yeah, the yeah. offense had moments, but like could never like right. stack consistency. Or like yeah, um, I mean that's that's the thing that we have to work on. You know, we got to come every single game uh, ready to play. Uh, you know, with that same mindset, uh, just trying to go out and put points on the board and trying to destroy everyone. So. Uh, it, but I agree with Pat, you know, we definitely felt that the, the defense was about to start uh, clicking again. You know, last year we had a lot of injuries, didn't have that many uh, key guys playing with us. So uh, we definitely felt this year was going to be different, uh, just having some more uh, vets on the field. But, you know, injuries definitely hurt us a lot. Uh, but, you know, still got to find a way. Hey, Justin, we've heard coaches and players say we can't worry about the speculation about you know the future of this franchise, what direction it's headed, all that stuff. But how curious of an observer are you going to be this offseason and just seeing kind of what happens, not just maybe here, but certainly around the league as things change? Yeah, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, all I can do is just focus on, on me, focus on uh, what I have to improve on, uh, focus on the things that I felt that I was weak, weak at this year. So... Uh, I mean, I'm only going to better myself, you know. Uh, I'm going to, you know, meet up with those people around the league, try to learn new things, trying to, you know, uh, make advance my level, I mean, my game to uh, the next level. But, you know, I'm excited. You know, COVID is no more, well, I ain't going to say no more COVID, but, uh, you know, less COVID than it was last year. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited to, to meet new people and, and learn new things. Last one with Hobie. Justin, clearly you're a team first guy. You mentioned team goals, but Randy Moss said at the beginning of the season, I asked him, I said, what's the challenge for a guy going into his second year? And he said, can you do it again? And this year you have more yards, more touchdowns. Um, I'm going to ask you, what, what strides do you feel like you have made uh, now through almost through your second full season? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I feel like I, I got better with my explosion. Uh, explosion, just getting uh, off the ball fast. Um, I don't think too many people jam me at the line of scrimmage, so uh, my releases got better. Uh, just being able to put different releases with different people, uh, but all making them look the same, but winning. Uh, and I, I feel like I just heard all of the people saying the sophomore slump, uh, you know, him not being able to do it again, you know, that was a lucky first year. You know, all of these things, I, I, I listen to all of those things. And, uh, you know, I just let that fuel to, towards my game. You know, I, I, I felt like I wasn't going to have a sophomore slump. I felt like, you know, that, that didn't pertain to me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just come out here, ball, do my own little thing, um, you know, and just, and just keep working.